Hello guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm actually did my own analysis here because apparently um, DJI um, customer service analysis, they can't really do anything to help you. I mean, they think if you press the button and they think you're always going to be wrong. But this time, I got them proven wrong. This video here, you're going to see in front left and also uh, bottom right is the Mavic Air. And to your bo bottom left is your Mavic to zoom and the top right is the Mavic zoom so um, I'm just showing you guys this video here because I actually did my own analysis and you can see I actually flown the Mavic Air lower on the I call this in the water and with reflective lights or anything like that that's that's bull crap so just go ahead and watch this and I'm just gonna show you what's gonna happen next and enjoy because you know if you guys out there that wreck your drone and you think it's your fault <laughs> don't be surprised man because some of these people man like those guys that work for DJI it just you know they think because if you press the bottom or the obstacle did not work you think it's always gonna be your fault or give you no fault signal and they think it's always gonna be your fault so hopefully this right here would would um, give you guys some knowledge what's gonna happen if you fly your drone on top of water so just give us some sense here and that's about it thank you see exactly <laughs> if the mavic air can do it if it can actually see the ground and everything because a lot of people complain about oh it might be reflective and everything like this so we're gonna go ahead and see if this guy can do it over here fly this drone here and you're gonna see exactly what's going to happen while this guy fly in a in on top of the water um, not only I'm gonna do this in the beach, I'm also gonna do this in swimming pool, lakes. I'm gonna do this at low light. I'm gonna do this in the sunny light. So right now this is the beginning. So I'm gonna show it to you. Um, right now my, my main average is uh, 20 feet up in the air with good GPS. And um, I'm trying to see if I can go ahead and uh, cover that up because right now I don't think the, the analysis did a right job to do my um, so I'm using the Mavic Air. You can see here there is no light bottom signal, or whatever. There is no side obstacle avoidance. There's no top obstacle avoidance. But this guy here can still do the job. Okay, so I'm gonna go from here. Just letting you know, guys, don't let the Mavic Air fool you for the size. But this is what it can do. My goal is 6.9 feet or to 5.9 feet, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can do that. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, I got a GPS, I got 15 GPS. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if we land. See how many feet does he land? Before. Landing. Landing. So he's gonna take his time. All right. Okay, right now it's really windy, so I want to do this in the proper manner, so... Take off. Here you go again. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Well, avoidance using. So, six point feet. 5.9 feet is about right here, guys. Okay, 5.9 feet is about, about tall as me. Now, you can see myself here. So... I mean, I can go under the drone. You know, that's about there. That's 5.9 feet, okay? 6.9, it's about, hold on. Lower, it's about right there, okay? So, I'm 6'2", so about there. So that's 6.9. And 5.9 is about there. Okay? Let's go ahead and see. You know what, matter of fact, before we do anything, <laughs> let's go ahead and see if you force the drone, how many feet does it land? So we're gonna go and drop it. I'm gonna put the video on. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. So right now, two meter, and then it should, it should say automatically landing or say the drone landed. Landing. About 0 0.7. 0 0.7, okay, the drone will land. That means you gotta force it. Again, 
I'm gonna take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Right, I'm gonna have it here. So that means what? Zero. Zero point seven. Landing. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight seconds. About eight seconds, guys. To actually force the drone take to off. land. The home point has go been ahead updated. Again and do it fast. Please check it on the map. I'm gonna do it fast. Let's see how fast it can it land. Ready? Set go. Alright. Landing. Well, so again. You see that? It takes about a few seconds before it land. Let's go Take ahead off. and do a sport mode. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Alright, let's go ahead and put in a sport mode. Okay, how many seconds can the drone land on sport mode? Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Landing. nine. Wow, it's actually slower than uh, normal. Again, we're gonna Take do it off. again. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So I'm in a sport mode right now. So I'm just showing you guys here. All right, we're gonna go back here again. How this Mavic Air. All right, let's go. Again, drop it down. So it's gonna force me about 0 0.7, Landing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What well, about 10 seconds by forcing it? By forcing it, guys. 10 seconds. All right. Take off. The home right, point has been updated. Off. Please check it on the it's map. It's been updated. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm just gonna have a slow mode. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we reflect the water. Okay, so it takes a while. So 6.9 something is about right here. See that? That's about right there, guys. The drone was that far down. It's not just gonna directly gonna fall itself. It's gonna take a few seconds before you wanna drop it down. It's gonna go 0 0.7 seconds. See? Zero something seconds. Let's go back here. Let me see if we can go ahead and zero point something second. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Landing. Okay, let me go ahead. Let me do it again. Landing. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, let's go over here. All right, that's white water. So that means it got a lot of reflective. So that's 4.7 feet. So my drone was up to here, 6.9 meter feet. See, it's not gonna go down. I'm gonna go way out there. And this is the wave today. This is with big waves. All right, let's go look down. See, even with a big wave, four point something, four point nine. Look at that. How how could that be? See, now you guys see that right now. I'm five point two feet up. I'm six point nine, seven, six nine feet down. That's about right there. So when I dropped my drone, the wave wasn't even that bad. It's even be like, not much. But you see? Let's go ahead and drop it down to 5 point, 5 point 5.9. 5.9 feet. About right there. So I know. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do it again. Just moving here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's force it. So how long does it take to do forcing it? Let's go before the warning even show up.
landing. See? Four point something. Zero point seven something seconds. Again. We're gonna do one more time. We're gonna do one more time, okay? So this is what? This six two, six nine is about right there. About right there. And then let's go ahead and drop to five point something. Five point nine. 5.9 guys that's like almost taller than a little bit taller than me so i'm gonna go ahead and fly 5.6 5.2 wow Again, is 0 0.7 to drop it. Landing. See, it's gonna tell you that your drone's gonna land. I did not have a warning. Take off. Way. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, that's 2.0. I mean, that's even low. So my drone crashed around, <laughs> it crashed around 6.9, 6 6.9, I'm sorry. 6.9 guys. So I'm gonna do 6.9. Six point nine. So that's how tall it is from the water. And then even though I go five four, four feet, two feet. See that it's still gonna take me some time if I wanna go to land. See I'm pressing on it. So I think I don't think the analysis did the right job. That's the reason why I'm showing you the guys I have to get a Mavic Air to prove it myself that I, I did not do anything wrong again I'm 1.3 1.3 guys landing see that I had to force it and you see landing too you were here landing I put a video here you'll see landing again see 1.1.3 see 1.3 I'm sorry now it's 1.0 see that I'm pressing the throttle you can't just <laughs> okay. I mean you gotta force it to land one more time, I'm gonna go, you know what, I'm gonna go sport mode. Well, this will solve the problem here. <laughs> All right. Even a sport mode won't do it. See? It's still showing 1.3. It's showing 1.3, guys. So I don't know. So right now, I'm gonna do more tests. Again, even though right now I'm in circles and I'm in sport mode. Again, lowering it down. See? In the sport mode, guys. Look. You have to force it. 
Again. So now you guys see. Again, I'm gonna do one more. So it's gonna take about landing. See? It takes a while and you'll see landing. Landing. I don't have that option when I got my Mavic 2. All I hear is blop on the water. Landing. See? Again. Landing. In the water again. I mean, you gotta force it to do it. See? You gotta force it. And that's the reason why I recommend the Mave Air. <laughs> Look at this guy. So, Again, see, you will not land. All right, thank you for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I got more video to show and go from here. Let me see how many seconds to land. One, two, three, four, five, Landing. six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 seconds on sport mode. So again, thank you for watching.